Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Patrick Johnston, co-owner and managing broker of GoDominicanLife.com, real estate company, a group of companies right here in the beautiful Dominican Republic. Our group of companies uh, were established here in, well, two and a half years ago or so. And uh, we're now sitting at, a, at roughly 26 people on our team nationwide with four more joining us at the end of this month uh, to complement the services that we have within the company. Today's video is more of a, a deeper thought type of thing I want to describe to you. Uh, because as you personally, if you're watching this video, you're about to embark on a situation or a, a discovery tour of your life. And I can give you that from personal experience that uh, the transformation of your personal life uh, and your living situation is part of this process, what I define as a philosophy called 2.0. So and you've heard me talk about it many times in videos saying, uh, this, what is your 2.0? I wanted to give you a good example of what I define as 2.0 so that you can go through the same exercise uh, to define what 2.0 means to you. Because obviously, we have, all of us, have an individual outlook of our current life situation and also what would be a perfect second version of your life, whether it's retirement, whether it's an immediate work situation, whatever you want to call it. We short form it for all of us and just call it our 2.0. It's a revolution of a, and a philosophy that I apply in my life. Uh, and the people that are watching this video right now have seen that happen in my physical life and my mindset uh, uh, over the last seven years of living here on the beach in the Dominican Republic. So, how we start this is simply saying this. Uh, what does it mean to you? What does the meaning of your original life mean to you? What, what, how do you describe it, your 1.0 life? And what would be the perfect situation for your next life as you look broadly into your, your life? What would you change? How would you live? How would you act? Who would you surround yourself with? And how would you grow? Or how would you relax? Because again, your 2.0 is your version of your successful uh, next stage of your life. It won't be the same as mine, I guarantee it, because it, it's just what it is. And it doesn't mean that mine is perfect to you, but it's perfect to me, all right? So here are the house rules, okay? Number one, you really need to put a, a defined vision of how you see it. And I mean with full detail, right down to the clothing you would wear, the items that you would buy for your new house or apartments or condo, uh, what you would do in your daily life, etc. Make it very, very clear. Write it down. Write it down. Number two, make the plan, which means uh, put time, date, and with whom you're going to start this process with. And even if you want to send it to me on a WhatsApp, you can do that. My WhatsApp number will be down here below. The meaning of that is that you want to hold yourself accountable by giving your definition and your time frames to someone else that you trust around you. Believe me, it's important. I did it uh, three years ago. Uh, my friend Alex is here watching the video and he knows what I'm talking about when I had the, I created a vision board for my life and I identified the four areas of my life that I needed to improve on or perf perfect. And for me, it was my personal life, my business life, uh, the housing life that I wanted to define and also um, my vehicle mix, a transportation mix and why those four areas are important, the four pillars for me. Now, when you make the plan, you now have to set out the action plans that are necessary to be uh, on that journey. Action plan would be to take uh, a schedule or a month or a calendar and set up hurdles of, of deadlines that you will do to achieve your goal. Examples of that, would be, uh, for example, if you own your own home in Canada, the United States right now, and you've either paid it off, so you don't have a mortgage, or your mortgage is very low, obviously you'd have to identify sort of your housing, what you want to buy in the budget, 
You want to establish uh, how you're going to refinance your home to extract, extract capital to start your 2.0 or the sales process and selling your home wherever you are to enter your next stage of your life. Next step is to be careful on who you surround yourself with. This process of going from 1.0 to 2.0 is probably one of the most difficult things for many people to uh, do in their life because 95% of the people around you currently uh, will uh, not believe in your structure. They'll call you crazy. They'll think you lost your marbles uh, or you're giving up your citizenship, your life, your family, your friends, your dog, your neighbors. All of that will come to uh, impact you if you don't define who are the supporters in your life in which you share all of this content or uh, who, with, ho with those that you do not. The people that you do not share it with, you eventually share it with on the day of your departure or maybe the week before. So that their impact to your life, because you know already it will be negative, to not include them in your positive approach to your 2.0 version. It's very, very important. If you broadly tell the world, meaning everybody around you at your current workplace or your career path, whatever that is for you, you know, all your friends and family, especially your family, they will pull you down to the level that they are at in order to be selfishly thinking that you, they will retain you in whatever speed or level they are at in their life. Uh, so it does mean that you may let go of people, but it doesn't mean you're getting rid of your friends. It just means that uh, there's certain things that you will not share until the timing is right and knowing that the other people that will support you are around you and will have your back on that, okay? Number, uh, whatever this is, is to eliminate obstacles in your life. Part of the process of going from one version of your life, especially in a cold climate to a warm climate, is that the obstacles can be uh, what I call bullshit material things in your life. All, I don't know how this became an issue, but I'm 52 years old and maybe 20 years ago, storage units or storage lockers became the uh, thing that all of us started to do. We accumulated more and more and more crap in our life that we then hold on to, that our attics and our basements and our garages become completely full become completely full of these items, so therefore we have to rent more space to put more of the garbage back in that we generally will never see again in our lifetime. And then we pay on that fee and that rent for many, many years. I don't know how this became a business or how it became something as a pattern for North America, but it's true. And all of you know that you have that. So start with removing obstacles. All of the old stuff that you don't need. Look at the positive outlook of it. A lot of your collecting, collectible items, some of them will be personal, but others will just be things. You can start to sell those things and put that budget or that raising of capital towards your next version of your life. Believe me, it's important. I'll give you an example. Uh, I'm 52, so I had a, uh, this stand-up uh, Pac-Man uh, mini arcade game. It was a desktop thing you guys are watching around here. And I had that in the attic of my house. And I was just up there getting something back in 2015. And I found it. I must have kept it since I was five or six years old. And, it, and I dragged it through my entire life, through college, university, three homes, the marriage, the whole thing. And I brought it down. And I showed it to my son. And he was like, wow. And he started using it. It worked. Couldn't believe how it worked. So we put that on, I can't remember if it was eBay or in Canada. We call, uh, we call it uh, Kijiji. I put that on Kijiji and said, make an offer. That little arcade game that may be 50 bucks back in the day sold for just over $2,000. <laughs> it was incredible. So the point is, a lot of our crap can be valuable to others. So think of that in, in your mind. Start to get rid of the obstacles. Believe me, it'll make you more free in your life if you have that when you feel lighter from the baggage that we carry around us. The last point in the rules, I call it, 
is to make zero apologies to what you're going to commit yourself to do, right? Don't compromise uh, your thoughts and actions by listening to the opinions of others because everyone's going to have an opinion. But it's up, this is your life, this is your goal and dream, and it does not, it'll involve your spouse, obviously, and your kids if they're coming with you. But other than that, don't make any apologies for your thoughts and actions, okay? That is extremely important. important. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a good example of my uh, personal 2.0 and what it means to me. None of these items I'll mention today are in uh, any order of importance, but I wrote down this morning the items that I consider to be my code of ethics on how I live my life in 2.0, okay? And this I've done and gathered over the last number of years, uh, some by chance and some by thrown into it, but I'd realized what I do not want anymore in my life and what I want more of. And that's really the, the definition of your 2.0. So here we go. Number one, I wanted personal freedom. I wanted to be more creative. I wanted to be more spontaneous. I wanted to be more connected, but at the same time, more disconnected. Uh, personal freedom. Uh, I could achieve that in a number of ways, and I'll go into more depth on that in a few minutes, but the core of that is personal freedom. Most people in North America right now are on a treadmill or a rat race uh, called life with uh, a set pattern of you get up at a certain time, you do the exact same routine five or six days or seven days a week, you eat the same thing for lunch and dinner, you say the same thing with the same people at the same place you work, and you drive the exact same way to, uh, to work, to and from, at the exact same time every day there's a point that you can be blindfolded and do your entire day without share, without being able to see what's happening. So personal freedom gives you that example that you can be spontaneous uh, and be more responsive rather than uh, simply reacting to the normal activities of your day. Second point for me, you've heard it many times in the videos I've done so far, is that I no longer work for money. I work for happiness. I'm. No, I no longer work for money in this uh, 2.0 uh, life that I've created for myself. I am focused specifically on happiness and the creation of having a happy day uh, every single day. Now, why is that and how did that become that way? In my first version of myself, I worked 12, 16 hours a day, six days a week and I tossed aside somehow uh, a lot of personal uh, items uh, uh, and personal life situations. I spent not enough time with my kids, uh, not enough time with my family, and uh, I, although I didn't have a girlfriend when I was married, uh, I, I chased more and more business activities as my mistress, and that created a lot of uh, turmoil in my life. So therefore, now I have uh, put boundaries on my business life from my personal life. But again, happiness focus first, then business activities, therefore putting my personal life first. Number three is I lead by example now. So with my team here in the Dominican Republic, uh, there's 26 of us now, right now we're going to 30 by the end of the month in August of 2022. Uh, I clearly described to my team the working conditions of, that I believe that we should work on as a team and I encourage people to do the same thing. So uh, condensing our day, conden condensing our activities and leveraging our activities and skill sets uh, and showing them how to do it. Mainly by showing them how items that I did wrong in my first life that I won't repeat in my second life and enforcing that on them, or not enforcing it, how do I say that better? Uh, encouraging them to not do the mistakes uh, that I did in my first life and I'm not going to do that in a second life. Next thing is creating a solid work life, personal life balance. You know, that's said every day in life, but I'm talking heavy on the personal life balance 
and the work life is a limitation in my day. I no longer do the routine of uh, a typical North American person where you're, you're up and out of the door at rough 6 or 6.30 in the morning and you return back to your front door of your house sometime around 7 o'clock p.m. So you lose 12 hours completely of your day and therefore you spend the majority of your waking hours with uh, work colleagues doing things of money creation or whatever you want to call it but your, the back half of your 24-hour day, you literally have three hours, maybe four hours of your personal life before you retire for the day. I've turned that upside down to work more in my favor than uh, the other way around. The next thing is supporting, for me, it was important in my second life to support others in personal growth, both in a personal life and a business life. Starting with what I just said by uh, living by example, or leading by example, uh, personal growth for me uh, is very, very important. Uh, for most of my working career, I've always had a uh, personal business coach. Uh, so I continue with that to this day. And the teachings uh, and the experiences that I learned in that environment, I pass that down through our network. Uh, and just like what I'm doing here in this video now, if you get to know me on a personal level, uh, when you move to the Dominican Republic or in the process of that, you'll see that uh, what I'm doing is exactly what I'm telling you to do in your life. Next thing is uh, for my team is demonstrating to my team the principles of personal and business. Uh, you know, you know, at 52 years old, you kind of look back in your first half of your year, uh, first half of your life, and you know exactly what you will not repeat and the other items that you definitely want to make happen more than once and maybe duplicate over and over. These are the things that uh, we can pass down just by our experience in life. Uh, and uh, that goes out to you as a potential client of ours in the same factor. We want everyone to not learn from the mistakes that we've all made. And some of the mistakes uh, that I made when I uh, came to the Dominican Republic by myself and set up everything I did. It took a lot longer than it should have. Uh, but in this environment, you now have more than me. You have a whole gang of people, uh, soon to be 30 people around us, that will help you and guide you through that uh, conversion of your first life to your 2.0 life. The next point is, is the strength that you get by having a very simple life that is full of real, authentic experiences. I can't emphasize enough uh, how much this country, the Dominican Republic, has changed my life to the positive. You know, the culture here is very open-minded. The culture here is very family-oriented. Uh, the culture here is, um, they truly, Dominicans truly, live their life in happiness daily, you know? I would say the overwhelming amount of Dominicans do not, from our point of view, uh, from the outside point of view, should act that way. However, when you actually see it happening, they celebrate life every single day. And most of us in the North, whether it's the US or Canada or otherwise, we've learned somehow over time to only celebrate life once or twice a year or once a week at best. So it's, it's, a, it's a state of mind that you will learn when you come here. Because look, right now, it's what is, what's today, Wednesday, I think it is? It doesn't matter the day, but it's Wednesday. In the background, you hear the light music of bachata music happening literally 24 hours a day through your whole life in this country. Uh, it is music, happiness, and love, uh, and general experiences of positive, are what you'll find uh, can happen for you here if you retain an open mind to simply not resist, to live in the ways that you have always had, and choose to be open-minded to live in the more positive life here in the Dominican Republic. The next one I think is pretty obvious. Uh, Flip-flops forever. <laughs> I've chosen that I have the only 
closed toe shoes I have in my life is a pair of workout or running shoes. All my other shoes are various levels of informal to formal flip-flops. These are more formal. They're leather-like. But the idea is that it gives, it's a rebellion of your mind for me. Again, these are my version of 2.0. So for me, this gives me strength, it gives me comfort, it gives me a trademark that I feel is, uh, represents me now. Uh, and I, and I, uh, I've said to many of my friends in Canada now, I will see you as long as I can come back to the country, to the north in the cold country of Canada, when the season is for flip-flops. But otherwise, you won't see me from November until the end of June. <laughs> that's just life, but that's what I choose. Next thing for me is uh, sort of like your identity. You're, here you, sent, you tend to do the opposite of what you were in, in your original country. So for me, uh, I uh, never rode a motorcycle in Canada, ever. Never had a motorcycle license in my life. But I have gained all of the above that I've just described to you. Personal freedom, happiness, uh, leading by example, a work-life balance, which means more life than work, supporting others, demonstration to my team, strength in a simple life, flip-flops forever, all on the back of my little motorcycle named Florence. That little $300 motorcycle probably has only the frame as the original parts on it, but it became part of my life and identity uh, seven years ago when I came here to the country. You're gonna find what works for you, but that little motorcycle has given me peace of mind. Uh, it allows me to uh, go for a drive and with no ability to use the phone, text, or check anything. Uh, I put my headphones in, have great light music heading in my, in my ears in the background, and I ride off into the sunset. I've rode that little motorcycle through almost every paved major road in the Dominican Republic more than once and three times around the uh, country of Haiti, all leaving and returning to right here in Las Terrenas. You know, it's a 125 or 150 cc motorcycle. At best, I can probably do 80 kilometers an hour, but speed isn't my thing. Experience is my thing. And uh, don't confuse in any shape or form that my $300 beautiful motorcycle named Florence represents uh, the power of uh, a financial statement. It's this, it gives you whatever that is for me. It gives me that freedom and that mindset of, of, of coolness. Now I do have a Florence 2.0, which you've seen, which is my G the Jeep I have, uh, which is the same type of feeling as Florence because I take the roof down. And now uh, if I go between our offices here, I, I ride in Florence too. But Florence one, when I'm in Los Torinas is what I ride with because it gives me that freedom of mind, body and soul. And in this country, you can ride a motorcycle 365 days a year. Believe me, it's a cool thing. Next thing, and the final thing I'll say to you about this, is uh, for me, uh, 2.0 represents to me leverage. Uh, I, when I decided to come back into, because uh, I was retired so in 2014, but when I partnered with Stephen Hattie uh, as my business partner here, I said to him, I will coach, train, and, and grow the team, but I do, do not want to go back into what I did for 22 years, which is sell real estate full time. Now, that was at the beginning. And I wanted to do most of my work with uh, Steven and the team behind the scenes because I just didn't want to be in the public eye like I used to be. Now, obviously that has changed. I'm pretty out there now on YouTube, etc. cetera. But uh, it, I, I approach it differently. So I take that aspect of, yes, I will meet each and every one of you uh, over time when you come here, but I work through a leveraged point of view. So we have uh, soon to be 10 uh, trained realtors uh, countrywide here on our team uh, that have learned the, the principles of uh, marketing and selling real estate the way I was trained. Uh, so they're learning from this same uh, set of principles that I did. So the multiplication factor, so that I do not feel personally responsible to do all of the items in the team. So it gives me more of a clear mind. I focus on what is, has the highest impact for the team 
for my per responsibility, and that is doing things like this, content, education, coaching, and training. And that's what I do both with you and, of course, internally in my team. Now, yeah, of course, I sell real estate indirectly, uh, but uh, generally speaking, I do not uh, uh, go door to door, if you will, showing you all the properties. I'm fully aware of everything that's going on. And, uh, but I'm more involved in uh, projects that we're building and po project planning and everything to do with the business side of, of the company. So as you can see, my version of 2.0 has a combination of work and pleasure or personal. It's heavier on the personal because that's my choice. I did not come to the Dominican Republic to work 16 hours a day. But that said, I still do. But I do it in a combination of, of uh, an activity plan that I use in my day uh, that allows me to achieve the goals that I wish. So in your uh, exercise of uh, establishing your 2.0, I would suggest you use the same framework that I've talked about. Use the house rules that I call it, that I stated at the beginning of this video, to guide you into creating the plan. Make a schedule, take action, involve others that are close to you but don't share everything, and then most importantly, set a deadline for the time in which you want to make things happen the way you want them to be. Okay? You got it? All right. So, you know how to reach me always, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., Monday through, through Saturday on WhatsApp at 829-525-1782. Uh, you can also uh, leave a message on a Sunday, but if it's not urgent, I will not call you back. I will call you back on Sunday, sorry, Monday, because Sunday is fun day in my mind, in my heart. Okay. All right, so you know we're here for you. We're, we know we're gonna help you through the word, but I want you to always think about, if you are not a subscriber of the channel now, please do subscribe. Please like, share it, make a comment. Tell me below if you're committed to making this ha happen to your life. We're not just a real estate company. We're creating a lifestyle for you and by demonstrating exactly what you're about to embark on, and we're here to support you. Everybody in all areas of my team will support you. Okay, so I'm Patrick Johnston. As we say always, life is better at the beach. Adios.